What is up? This is Rakdar. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And uh, as you can see, I'm going into the Skull Tiller house right now. Um, I am going to... Which one of these dudes... Oh, there's one more left. I've got ten more Skull Tillers left, I think. Let's see which of these dudes I can cash in my new reward. Ah, the coast has been broken. Yep, there we go. There we go. What do you got for me, you stupid bitch? <gasps> That's useful! That's so useful. Oh my gee. Useful town USA, except for the fact that... I don't know if I'm gonna get any more hard pieces. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it, but, uh... Kinda getting cabin fever with this game right now. I'm about ready to get this Let's Play out the dough. So, let's play this song right. Yep, there we go. Go into the Temple of Light. I decided that I would not start this this episode from the Temple of Light, be your Temple of Time. I don't know why I said Temple of Light. My bad. But anyway, I decided I would not start it from the Temple of Time in case the scene triggers. It, it does. Yep, I was right. See, that's what I was worried about was that it would, I would go there and it would immediately trigger, and so I would just be like, <laughs> jumping to be like, hey, what's up? Rector, the hero of Tim. Oh, right, dear. Now you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf. Dude, I just give Sheik so many voices. The man of a thousand talents. But he's going to confess his eternal love to me right now. He's going to be like, And if you defeat Ganon, we can be boyfriend and girlfriend forever. Wait, I meant boyfriend and boyfriend. I totally... Sorry guys, <laughs> I messed that up. We can be boyfriend and boyfriend forever. Ah, I'm resting into a dream. A dream of roses. <laughs> Reflects what is in the heart. It actually doesn't look like a mirror at all. Actually, I don't know, those Triforce pieces are pretty shiny. That could be a mirror. I don't know. Who really gives a damn? I know I don't. So you heard one of the realm full of evil. Oh no! And Ganondorf entered the sacred realm, so if we do some math, it's obvious that the sacred realm is full of evil. So we have to do some shit about that. I don't know. Do we really? Honestly, I was looking around the world. Uh, the ice at Zora's Domain, it's gonna melt. Um, the farm, Lon Lon Ranch, it looks like, uh, it looks like it's gonna turn out okay. I mean, I put, uh, Ingo's back in his place. Uh, some Talon and Malin are back over there. I mean, let's think about this. The, the mountain, Death Mountain, it's feeling like a pretty safe place now. I mean, I don't know. I'm feeling like if we just decided not to get Ganon, it couldn't really cause that much of a problem, right? So, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe we don't need to go beat Ganondorf. In fact, maybe I should just end my Let's Play of this game right here. I don't know. What do you think? Be like, yeah, screw you. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep going. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used Alibaba to get his 40 thieves and entered the Sacred Realm, where they met up with Aladdin. And Aladdin was like, I want to date Jasmine, so get out of here. And, uh, then they did it. Aladdin dipped his penis in the sheath. The strength of the Triforce enabled him to become a mighty evil king. Dark ambitions not satisfied. Hmm. Complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny. Huh, I wonder who those people are. I'll give you two guesses, so no room for error. <gasps> it's me! I'm the freaking courageous one! I knew it the whole time. 
the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. One ring to rule them all. One ring to bind them. Three triforces to bring them all. And in the darkness, guide them. That's right. Holy shit! Fucking, I'm backing away from my microphone so I can yell right now. My boyfriend, Sheik, was actually my girlfriend the whole time. It was Zelda! Oh my god! Are you freaking out like I am right now? This is fucking crazy. And he's been lying to me. What a bitch! Alright, I'm getting closer to my camera again. Or I'm getting closer to my microphone again. Man, this is this scene just goes on forever. I've been in this scene for like five minutes now. My attendant, Impa. Who's also a sage. Or a sagi, as I like to call them. I've never once called them a sagi before. <laughs> And of course, memories are all gray, because humans only remember things in the color gray. Don't, don't try and check me on that. I'm right. So, yeah, whatever. She gives the ocarina, all that jazz. Turned out for the best. Look at how fucking awesome I am. Except for the fact that, basically, she let Ganon into the sacred realm. Like, what would Ganon have done... If Zelda had never sent me to get the Sacred Stones... Well, I guess he would have gotten the Sacred Stones. Alright. Maybe... Dude, you know what I should have done with the Sacred Stones? Oh my god, why didn't I think of this? So, remember that movie about the hobbits? It was called... <laughs> it was called The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. They took the ring and they threw it into the fucking fiery pits of Mordor where it was forged. Now, I'm not gonna claim that I know where the sacred stones were forged. Um, man, she passed herself as a hot dude, Sheikah. I don't know if I feel better now with her ass being nice as a dude, though. Whatever. So the point is, what was I saying about the hobbits? We should have taken the sacred stones, the spiritual stones, they're not sacred stones, and we should have thrown them into the pits of Death Mountain. I mean, that is pretty menacing sounding, like... Like, I don't know, Mordor, Death Mountain... So... So if we'd done that... I don't think Ganon was about to fucking dive into the lava at, uh... Here's a weapon that can penetrate! <laughs> oh, she's gonna give me the light arrows. I don't think that he was about to dive into the lava to get the Sacred Stones then. Maybe he would have killed Link, but maybe it would have been a sacrifice for the better. I just wrote a way better story. Actually, that's a much worse story. But it, but it would have solved our problems, I think, a lot more easily. You know? So, this game was stupid. Like, Ganon, while he was being like, I knew you were going to come here, he could have just been like, you could have come here and been like, Hey, Ganon, you can come out now. I, uh... I... I can't open the door because I threw the fucking things in a lava in a, in a fucking volcano, so you can't really get my shit now. That rumbling... It can't be! What, did you think that you... Ganon wasn't gonna, like, sense the Zelda energy? That guy fucking feeds off Zelda energy like Bowser feeds off of Raping Peach. Which is, I assume, what happens. I feel like... The, was, so was the Sheik um, disguise, was that... Was the Sheik disguise also... Um, disguising the Triforce somehow? Like, if, I feel like the Triforce energy would just be emanating off that shit. The Triforce of Courage? No, it was my power. I did that. It had nothing to do with the Triforce of Courage. I'm the badass. Screw you, Ganon. Where is he even talking from? Like, if he can just do this from wherever the fuck he is... 
it's got to lead me to wonder how... I don't know. If he can just do that shit from wherever he is... Hmm. Oh, wait. From wherever he is... I'm surprised he didn't sense that Sheik was Zelda, like, 20 fucking years ago. Like, I'm gonna say 20 videos ago. Oh, also... So I was thinking about this. So the reason I originally considered this series to be a different series than my childhood playthrough was simply because the first episode of this was the first video I ever submitted to Machinima, which it did not get accepted, which is fine. So I needed it to count as a different series because I was like, well, I can't just submit, like, an episode from an ongoing Let's Play. But I decided that once I'm done recording this, I'm going to go through renumber all the episodes so they just match up with the childhood and then uh, make one big playlist of it. Because that makes a lot more sense. Like, the way it is right now, kind of stupid. So yeah, um, you've never seen that scene triggered before because I never decided to come here. Um, as you can see, this is a pretty derelict, uh, this is a pretty crazy place. Uh, it changed a lot from when we were kids. There used to be people alive, and now there's not. Can I go up there? What is up there? Let's see. Maybe there's secrets. I love secrets. You, you, you know how I love secrets, even though I don't, I don't tend to find all of them. Oh, no. Nothing here. Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna go point this out right now. But I'll, I won't be going back to it for a couple minutes. Alright. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I wonder if you... I never looked this up. I wonder if you need 70... Skulltulas to, uh... I wonder if you need 70 Skulltulas to get all the rewards, or 60, or if there's even more Skulltulas than that that I don't even know about. I mean, if you think about it, there's some big things that I feel like I missed. Like, I've got four magic beans left. Um, did those magic beans have places that I could plant them that I just stupidly, uh, that I just stupidly didn't go to? So yeah, once I get the item that I need, there's an item that will get this fucking gigantic pillar out of my way, and once I get that item, oh, Quasha, 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 Hark. And once I get that item, I am going to, um... I'm gonna go... What am I trying to say? Once I get that item, I'm going to, uh, just cut back there really quick and show you what's there and then cut back into the Ganon's castle. So, yeah. Um, walk around the edge here and you should... Yep, trigger a scene. <laughs> it's Rauru! We six will get a pillar to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, aka Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Huh, six barriers, six temples. Any chance? Oh my god, Rainbow Bridge! Painbow Road! Rainbow Road. So now we're going to race on Rainbow Road. Is that in the order of a color spectrum? Red or... No, it's not even close. It is not... Uh, kind of, but... <laughs> like, if you started here, it goes red, orange, and then it goes back over to here. Yellow, green, blue, and they go... Oh my god, it's, they just started off for some reason, because they think they can change how things go. But anyway... I'm going to end this episode right here, and I will see you next time.